Okay. Take a three breaths up. We're going to inhale. Good morning. And exhale. And two. And take one more. Inhale and up. Good. I'm so glad you're here. And then exhale. Now you can start with a squat. Your heels are heavy. Your toes are light. We're going to draw our arms down and up. We're just going to take 10 here. 10 more. And nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Just getting the legs strong. Knees track with the second toe. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Perfect. Hands here. Now the toes can be more forward. Bend one knee and bend the other. Good morning. Bend one knee and bend the other. Inhale and exhale. And you might even go a little lower as you get warmed up. Four, three, two, and one. Now both uh, legs are equal weighted. You're going to flex the spine and come all the way up. Walk those toes together and we'll take a calf raise. Take 10 of these and one and up two and all the toes get equal weight. Three and four, five, waking up the calf, six, Seven. Good morning. Come on in. And eight. Take two more. Nine. And ten. And then the normal chair squat. Both feet are about shoulder width apart. Inhales are heavy. One. And inhale. Weight goes back. I'm going to show you from the side just so you can see. The booty's going far back. Three. Very good. Your knees still track with the second toe. Four. Five. Six, terrific. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And now we're going to take a dynamic balance. So lift and spread your toes. Lift up, you can hug a tree, lift up the right leg and draw circles. Now, if you need to, you touch the floor, but otherwise, you're going to try to keep your foot off the floor. And two, and three. So this is dynamic for your bodies. Getting used to how to stabilize with a moving limb. Seven. If you need to touch, touch for a moment. Come back when you can. Eight. And nine. You're doing great. One more this way. Now the same leg, just go backwards. One. And two. This booty's working. Three. You got it. Four. Those of you that want to add your arm circles, go for it. Five. Six. So I'll demonstrate. Seven. Eight. Now that left leg's working in balance. Now on the 10, lower that foot. Lift and spread your toes. If you need to wiggle, do. Lift and spread your toes. I'll show you both ways. The left foot goes forward to the side and back. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six. Now it's up to you. Seven, maybe you could do little. Eight, maybe big. Nine, now the breath is linking with the movement. Inhale and exhale. Now on the 10th one, Backwards, one, touch the floor if you need it, two, three, four, a little bigger is going to be harder, five, when your leg goes back, your ribs are still tucked in, six, so that you don't get low back dominant, one more, ten, perfect, now one more, lift up your right leg, you're 90 degrees, your hips are level, see if you can just roll your ankle, while you maintain balance, you can lift your arms if you'd like. Whoa. All right. Ten the other direction. Your ankle. Standing tall and then point and flex ten times. Actually spread your toes. Point and flex. Move the whole foot. Five, six, seven, 
eight, your body is tall and then lower that foot. So my body's tall, I'm trying not to lean back. Lift up the left leg, that's a strong uh, psoas and hip, which is a hip flexor. You can add on circles in the ankle. You're trying not to lean back. Right knee is long, but soft. So you're building strength here at 90, go the other way. Point and flex, try to stay tall, right knee long, hips are square, try not to lean back. Good, eight, nine, and 10, lower down, perfect. We're gonna meet on the floor in a down dog. I'm going to move you. You can move your camera if you want, and otherwise meet me at a down dog. Very good. All right, in this down dog, you've got a walking dog, which is bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the other. Perfect. I'm gonna tuck in this shirt. Right and left. Heel, heel. And four, three, two, both heels lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. All right, both heels press and hold. Five, four, three, two, and then our favorite plank. If you would like to be on the hands, you can. If you would like to be on the forearms, you can. Another way to modify is to be on the knees or the flesh above the knees. Good morning. All right, here we go. 20, two, Three, I like what I see, four, five, six, seven, eight, really strong forearms, 10, pulling the belly in, 12. Another neat cue is to imagine your arms are going to your feet and your feet towards your arms. Nothing has to really move, but it really invites the abs into more tone. Five, four, three, two. Now quarter turn sideways. I'm gonna take a moment to adjust the mat so that it is more comfortable. Come into a side plank and hold. Beautiful, you see the hips are stacked too. The head is in line. It's tempting to let the head drop, but we're gonna keep it up. Five, four, three, two, beautiful Betty. This arm comes down, go to your other side. We're gonna open up that arm, hold side plank. Five, four, three, take it for an inhale and exhale. Both arms on, hold one more set of 10. Now, if you're getting tired, go down nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, there you go, four, three, two. All right, we're gonna lower the pelvis, we're on our elbows. But if you'd like to add on, go to your hands. Shoulders down the back. 10, gorgeous. Nine, eight, seven, six. I like what I see, five. The neck looks like it's in line with the thoracic spine. Four, three, two. Lower yourself back down and your hands can become a pillow. Lift up your right leg and then lift up your left leg. Pivot your hip bone off the floor. As you lift up, your hips are level. Up, up, good. Your neck is soft. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now you can keep doing this, or you can take your right arm and your left leg, and then your left arm and your right leg. And you can keep doing this alternate extension. Now this is squimming, but if you wanna make it harder, add a little bit more, 10, nine, eight. All the limbs are off if you want that extra six, Five, beautiful, four, three, building strength the back body, two, and one. And then turn that body over, just take it over. 
Hands behind your head, lift up your legs, and we're gonna add on a rotation, right and left. Now, as you do this, look at your belly, the belly pulls in. If your neck is at all strained, grab a towel or grab a Dynaband and put it behind your head, or lift up your shoulder blades higher off the mat. The abs usually need to work more, uh, lift higher if the neck is straining. Good, your gaze is probably between your legs. Pull your toes back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet down, curl the spine up, inhale and curl the spine down. And go up and go down. All right, you're doing bridge. One vertebra at a time lifts and then lowers. If you have herniated discs, you can lift up like a plank or like a book uh, cover as opposed to one vertebra at a time. If you'd like to add on, put your right ankle on your left thigh. Now lift up with one hip, two. Otherwise, you can keep both feet down. Three, add a little press with your right knee and you'll feel your opening up your hip at the same time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now on the 10, we are gonna switch sides or if you were on two feet, you can just stick with two feet. Of course, anytime you can do 10 here, anytime you need to stretch, you can take happy baby holding onto the feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then left foot is down. Lift up and pause. You might just stay here. You might lift up your right leg and then you can lower that leg and down it up 10 times, inhale. And you wanna feel a little hamstring stretch every time you lift that leg, the one that's in the air, four. The other one's working, five, six, seven, keep pressing the hips level, eight, neck soft, nine, there you go. 10, now that foot's gonna go on the floor, level your hips, let's do the other side, and down and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, that foot comes down. You're gonna lift up your booty. Inhale, exhale, lower, happy baby. Hold onto your feet soles. Now, the hamstrings are getting a stretch and the lower back. Five, four, you got it. Three, two, and then one. Now, you can hold onto your legs. Take your shoulder blades off the mat and open up, inhale, and then exhale, hug. Inhale, now, Catherine, your legs are gonna stay together. They're glued together. There you go. Hold on to an imaginary ribbon between your legs. Open up, now if this is too hard, you modify by going vertical in both the arms and the legs. If it's too easy, go more out 45, but keep the shoulder blades off the mat. Uh, excuse me, off the mat. All right, three more. Two more, good, lift up a little higher, Polly. Two in your torso. Another trick is to use a pillow under your head and rest, that way you don't have to um, lift up as high. Take your knees and stir them. And then that feels so good, doesn't it? And then go the other way, big circles, terrific. Now we're gonna hug the right leg in with your shin. You're gonna lift up the shoulder blades and then take the left leg out. Now take the right leg out and the left leg. Good, try to lift your shoulder blades. You can always go heel, heel, point, point, heel, heel, point, point. All right, eight, six, four, five, two, 
to relax for a moment. This time the legs stay glued and as a unit, they go around. We're gonna go the other way. Great. We're gonna lift up the right leg. We're gonna take the left leg down, lift up the shoulder blades and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. Lift up the shoulder blades, point, point. Now, if you need a break, you can stay down and do a baby scissors. Otherwise, point, point, flex, flex. Good, lift up your shoulders, four, three, good, two, and recover. Now, um, the legs are gonna come in. You can move a little right and left, just like a rock, just a little massage. Good, Michelle. Right. Let the left leg go totally long on the floor. Let the right leg go up and draw a circle. The whole body is glued to the floor, the shoulder blades in particular, except for that leg is circling. Shoulders are glued like Velcro. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to go the other way. Go opposite one and two and three. Shoulders are soft. Four. The bigger the circle, the harder it is to maintain the abs. So Make it your own. Eight, nine. And it's okay if you need a pillow to modify for that neck to be comfortable. Now hold that leg in. At first, just point and flex while you hold that leg in. You can circle it. Good. All right. Let's do the other leg. So pour one leg down. Lift up the other leg. Good. Grab water anytime you need it. Circle. And two. And three, and four, and five. Your shoulders are soft. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now we are gonna go the other way. Uh, just keep in mind, if you feel like it's too hard to keep your shoulders down, then you can always bend one of the knees. Or if you feel like it's too hard to get your leg up towards vertical, that hamstring's tight, you can bend one of the knees or both. Good, three, neck is soft. You might need a pillow if your neck keeps feeling like it's wanting to bend too much here or the head's coming off the floor. All right, hug that leg in and just point flex. Really good, we're gonna hold both legs in. Point flex, very good. Yeah, now we're gonna take both, which is a corkscrew. We're gonna do the modified, so hands down. Now, the very modified is that the knees stay bent and then you go a circle and then you go the other way. Now you could add on legs. One way, legs. The other way, legs. Legs, all right, you're doing great, four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, nine. And 10. All right, let's take the right angle to the left thigh. Reach your hands through the window, hold on to that thigh. Oh, and just relax. Good. Same thing here. If you feel like your head's coming off the floor, your neck's uncomfortable, use a pillow under your head or your head and your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy. Feel how your low back gets a relief with this hip stretch too. Yep, good. Grab water anytime you need it. Five, four, three. So good. All right, let's take the other one. Ankle to thigh. Reach your hands through. 
and clasp. All right, you've got, ah, uh, notice the difference in the right and the left. You can move it around if you want. Moving and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then on the one, you're gonna let the legs be a bicycle. This could be all you do. You feel like you have to work your abs to keep your ribs down, especially when you take your legs further. Now you could bicycle up 30 degrees or all the way and then back down and all the way. Yes, all right, if that's too much, you know you can put your hands behind your head if you need to, or a pillow under your head. If you need it harder though, cross your elbows, and come up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect job. Take a full body stretch, arms long. Terrific. All right, we're gonna turn that body to the side. Now you could be on your arm like this, or you could be on your arm like this for some sideline legs. So what we'll do is draw an eight. All you're gonna do is make an eight. Some of the eight is, it's horizontal. It's in front of your bottom leg and some is behind. Feel your belly pull in. Now we're gonna do the opposite way. So pull your toes back, 10. Lift up through your ribs, your shoulders. Good, um, six, seven, eight. Belly in, nine, and then 10. Now we're gonna lie on this arm. This arm is gonna be a pillow, this leg goes ahead. Draw an eight with your softly pointed toes. Five, six, six, seven, Eight, eight, nine, nine. Now pull your toes back and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're going to head to the other side. You're going to put your arm like a um, pillow or you can prop yourself up. You're slightly pitched forward in the hips. Draw an eight. Softly point the toes. Good. Four. Lifting. Five. This is the glute medius, which is really important for stability. And balance. Pull your toes backwards. Go the other way. Pull your belly in. Lift up through your ribs. Sometimes the ribs try to fall. See if you're doing that and lift up. Good, eight and nine and 10. Good, we're not killing the hips today. We're just gonna address them. Take this here, let the bottom leg softly point. Feel your inner thigh, lift your leg up to the ceiling. Feel your belly pull in. Nine, nine. Now, can you pull the toes back and reverse it? And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now we're going to go belly down. I'm going to turn just so I can see you a little bit better. Belly down. Now, this is gonna be a dynamic swan. This is so good for posture. 
Hover your hands without any hands, just lift up and hold. When you inhale, you're probably gonna feel your back lift a bit. When you exhale, you might feel it lower a bit. That could be your place. It looks great, Karen. Or you could add on your hands and they push you higher. That should feel so good. Exhale, lower. Now you're gonna let your head or your cheek rest lift up both legs. You're gonna lower your legs, lift up your upper back, let your hands assist. Gorgeous morning, exhale, lower. Now we're at our own pace here. Legs, upper back, and then your hands assist you. Lower, good, and then your legs go up. And then your upper back. And then your legs. And then your upper back. And we're gonna hold eight, seven, six. Belly pulls up, five, four, looking good. Three, two, lower down. And then take a hand behind your lower back position. It could be that you interlace them. It could be that you just rest one on the other. See if you can lift up your back, lift up your arms. And then if you can add on, flutter your legs, hamstrings, glutes, upper back, shoulders stretching. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, recover, rest. We're gonna do it again, but switch your hands the other way. Lift up, now add a flutter, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, recover. Now if you'd like to add on, bend both knees, hold on to your feet or your ankles, otherwise you can just do a sphinx, lift up and hold, breathe. Open. Almost like you're trying to see how little you can contract to get this pose. Inhale, lower. Now, child's pose is an option. If you need a different pose, please take it. Puppy dog could be another one where your hips are in the air or just rest like a pancake. Good, Karen. And rest, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we have some more planks to do. It's Plank Monday. Elbows, I'm gonna go ahead and support my elbow here extra. Elbows are on, or if you prefer hands, hands are on. And we're gonna go into a plank, lift up, hold. Now, if you would like to add on, push forward through your toes and drop back through your heels, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest your pelvis. Now right here you're in Sphinx, but if you want a Cobra, come on up. Gently look over the left shoulder. Inhale forward, gently look over the right shoulder. Inhale forward, you're doing great. We're gonna bring our elbows down, come back up to a plank. Now, if you'd like to add on, you can drop the left hip a little bit and then the right hip a little bit, and then the left hip a little bit and the right hip a little bit, and then eight and seven and six and five and four. Good, three, two, one. Rest your pelvis, we're in a sphinx again, or a cobra. Upper back is your priority. Ah, that looks great, guys. Pull your belly up, shoulders down. Inhale and exhale. Lower the elbow down. We're gonna turn sideways. This hand is getting ready to go up and we're gonna hold. Static plank for a moment. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, 
Five, you can modify if you need on your hip or your knee. Four, three, two. And on the one, let's do the other side. I'm just gonna flip this side of my mat this time to mix it up so I can see you. Take it, a static plank for a moment. 10 here, 10 moments. Lift up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Bottom abductors working, four, three, two. Inhale, exhale, lower. Let's go back to side plank. Now we're gonna leave the torso the same. We're just gonna move the arm. We're gonna thread the needle with just the arm. So we're changing it up a little bit. Go up, then just the arm comes to the floor, just the arm opens. Inhale, just the arm to the floor. Inhale and exhale, three. Back the hand can hit, four and five and six and seven, and eight, and nine. Really strong, hang in there. Inhale and exhale, hold and recover. Other side, good. Okay, we've got this one. And go up first. All right, exhale, touch and touch and touch. And four, and five, big, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. All right, let's hit the other. All right, now, this is going to be a circle with a top arm, so go up and draw a circle up and around. One, two, now stay strong with the bottom shoulder. Three, you're trying to stay torso stable. Four, now can you go the other way? Five, five, four, good. Lift up your hip, three, good. Make it a feel good stretch, two, good. Inhale, that's it. You can come down if you need and lower other side. Good, elbow down. Here we go, hip up, a circle, one, two, keep that bottom hip lifting, three, good, feel good range of motion, four, all right, reverse it, one, two, three, all right, inhale, lower down, all right, let's take a fun stretch, feet together, Inhale, exhale. If you want to use your elbows to assist, you can. Five, four, three, two, and on the one, gently come back up, and then we're taking an option. You could continue with more of that, or if you would like to take a reverse plank or reverse table, you can. Now, the reverse table is bent knee, fingers towards your booty, lift. The reverse plank is legs long, fingers towards the booty for most of us and lift. Now you could also just stay with your bound bangle. 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your booty. We're gonna 
Come to the other side, hands down, knees down, cat cow. Now, if your knees don't like to be down, please put more padding under your knees, like a doubled up mat. All right, now the other thing you could do is you could go immediately into the beast, which is curl your toes and then flexion extension. One, two, three, four, five, Good, six, seven, eight, two more if you can, nine, and 10. Now lower either a child pose or if you wanna put an elbow bend in it, you can touch your hands to the upper back. We're gonna do a set of push-ups here. Now one way to do these is on the wall. So if you'd like to go up to standing or on your counter and do them that way. Another way is in a cube. Another way is in a modified plank. Another way is on your toes. 10, good Betty. Nine, good Polly. Eight, good Cheryl and Michelle. Seven, good head back, Shereen. Six, five, four, three, Two, all right, see if you can hold it up at the top. Five, four, three, two, easy, right? One, rest back, bend the elbows again. Five. And one, perfect. Come back to a side plank, doing so well. This hand is down at your hip. We're gonna go up and over. So inhale, on your exhale, good, good, good. Go up and over and paint a fabulous rainbow. Two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one more, and 10. I like what I see. Let's do the other side. Let's do 10. Let your elbow be on the padding if you need that. I do, it feels better. Your body's worth the correction. Go inhale, up, one, it's painting a rainbow. I'm gonna move so you can see me better in the screen. Two, good. Three, you know how to modify. You can put it down or knee down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good Polly, and ten. Hold, inhale, and exhale lower. Hi, girl. <laughs> Come to a seated. Have a good day. All right, now, this is a possible shoulder stretch. Left elbow soft, fingers behind you. Inhale, right elbow soft, fingers behind you. Lift your heart. Good. Now, your elbows are soft. This is really important, and I know you can't see it, so you almost have to make sure, feel it. Now lift your chest without lifting your head back. Yeah, like you're trying not to just toss your head. If you're not sure where your head should be, one cue is you could look at your toes. Elbows are soft though, four. If they hurt, then they're probably bent backwards, three. Your breath helps, two. Inhale. and then exhale, and then lower down. Beautiful. Take an inhale. Now, we're not gonna do this aggressively, so if you need to bend your knees, I know seated forward folds are really hard um, if the hamstrings are tight, so just make it a counter pose. Letting go. You could stay here, or the other possibility, I like it, Karen, my spend, or the other possibility is to do a reverse plank. So choose what's good for you. If you're doing a reverse plank, your fingertips are behind you and you can have bent knees for reverse table or lift up. All right, your choice, 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, 
seven. Wonderful, six, good head position, Michelle. Five, four, good, three, two. Inhale, exhale, lower. That was great. I like the way some of you even mix it up. You did both. Let your legs out like an inner thigh, in an inner thigh stretch. Exhale, hinge down. Now I'm looking, but you're probably gonna look down at the floor. All right, if this just doesn't serve you, you can sit on a block and go forward. You could sit on your roller or you can lie down. All right, great. Uh-huh, just do the best you can. Neck is soft. Relaxing. Nine, five, four, three, and slowly start coming up. Take your time. You're going to find how you can be on your mat longwise so that you don't run out of room. In other words, you're gonna be rolling back. So you don't wanna hit your, you don't, you don't wanna run out of mat. So you're gonna go down and up. If you need to make this harder, you could go all the way down and up. If your feet fly off the floor, then you're gonna stay with a partial roll down, a partial roll up. If you want it harder, so I'm just showing layers, okay? That way you know where you can stay. You could do knee long, which is harder. This to me feels stretchy and strengthening all together. So I like you get two birds, you get two birds with one stone. What a horrible saying, but anyway, you get two, two benefits at minimum. So roll down, Sequence of spine, inhale the arms over, keep the ribs connected to the floor. Exhale, the legs squeeze towards each other, the pelvic floor squeezes, pulls in, stretching over. All right, try three more of whatever you're doing and you're linking the breath, inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And one more. And exhale. Now we're going to take a 20 second countdown. One, two, I'm going to lengthen on that a little bit. Three, four, good. Five, squeeze the legs. Six, seven, eight, good. Hold on to your legs if you need to. Nine, two, good. Let's make it five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Either continue this, or if you'd like to put your left foot on the ground and your right leg in the air, you can hold a hamstring stretch, or you can come up and climb a tree for five. And exhale, four, and three. And two, one more, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna switch it up so the other leg is up, inhale and exhale. One, two, three, Four, five. Now you could rest or both legs could come up. Five, four, three, 
two, one. All right, now take the left leg very long. Take the right knee over. This is called knee down twist. Your hips are stacked. Your right arm could take three to five circles in a pain-free feel-good range of motion. All right, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna stay, look over that right side. Inhale, and as you're ready, come back out. We're realigning the spine first, so now the right leg goes long. The left knee down twist. Your right hand can hold it in place. Your left arm can add circles. In a pay-free range of motion. And you're holding. Take another inhale here, and as you exhale, you're gently coming back. Now the hands could gently go to one knee each and stir the pot. If you care for a band on the next one, the hamstring stretch, you're welcome to grab a Dynaband, or maybe you need a Pilates ring or a towel. And you're gonna take the left leg down long and stick the right leg high. I'm gonna use your ring today just to demonstrate how it can be with a different prop. Yeah, this is a good chance to get a, a, a little sweater on if you're feeling chilly. Now the exhale is a relaxation in the belly of the muscle. Now you, your slight variations are just turning the leg in and taking it across the midline. Relax your shoulders.
And you know that you can take it out a little bit too. Maybe just an inch, maybe two inches. Maybe all the way, there you go, right? Somewhere in there is bound to feel tight. We're going to slowly bring the leg up. That low back should feel so bit, much better as well. Lift up the other leg. Oh, right there you can tell. Other leg. And then neck soft, hamstring soft. I like to make sure it's in the belly, not the knee, not the sit bone. Relax your abs, relax your neck. Barely take that leg across, maybe just an inch, maybe two, internally rotating, but keeping the distance from the rib to the pelvis long. Take that leg out a little bit. So maybe you might go further out. So maybe you just might go a couple inches out from neutral. slowly bring that out and then take a moment to take a full body stretch you're also welcome to shift right and left like you're climbing a ladder it's going to feel like your low back gets a little more stretch shift one leg past the other shift one leg past the other Up. good and then if you would like to put your feet on the wall you can do that if you want to stay in a shavasana you can do that Legs up on the wall, so um, the Arita Karini is a way to get some blood flow and uh, opposite gravity. Usually the feet are lower than the heart, so now the feet are higher. So just feel that relaxation. Your eyes can close and your hands can be on your belly and maybe one on your heart. See if that feels comfortable. Breathing in through the nose to calm the nervous system. Let the uh, bottom hand expand with the breath. Let the breath work its way all the way up to the clavicle. And exhale, let go of any tension. You can imagine that you're on a raft. 
in a, a 72 degree spring where you can see the bottom of the spring floor, sand and seagrass, fish, and the sun shining on you, but it's only with vitamin D, no cancerous rays. And you got birds all around, trees all around, Spanish moss hanging from the trees, perfect temperature, perfect sky, a spring of restoration and healing. Turtles, birds, butterflies, utter calm, deep hues of blue in the water, in the sky, billowy white clouds floating by, and the sound of the water hitting your raft. And just take a moment to entrain with that piece of calm all around you. Let all your worries go. Now, as you're ready, slowly wake up the fingers and the toes and start coming to a seated position. Facing the front of the room, lifting up through your spine. Just take a moment to notice how it feels to have taken a break during the day to take care of your body, to regulate your nervous system. Continue to carry that forward the rest of your day. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room with much care and gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.